Hello again, and welcome to week 44 of the St. George Religious Education Initiative. This week I'm in a different place. I have a, a service to do later this afternoon, so I'm recording here at the church. So uh, this week, week 44, uh, will for day one, uh, continue with the book of Tobit. So last time we saw Tobit give Tobias his inheritance, which is to say he passed on to him all the wisdom about how to live a faithful and blessed life that he had. And then he gave him instructions where to find the last money that he had saved for him. So this time we will start to get to know Tobias as he responds, and we will also see God's messenger, the angel Raphael, enter the scene. So this is chapter 5 of, uh, Tob of Tobit. So Tobias answered him and said, O father, I will do everything you have commanded me, but how will I be able to obtain the silver, for I do not know him? Then Tobit gave him the record of the debt and said to him, Find for yourself a man who will travel with you, and I will pay him his wages as long as I remain alive. Now go and obtain the silver. Then Tobias went to look for a man and found Raphael, who was an angel, but he did not know it. So Tobias said to him, Can you go with me to Rages of Media? Are you acquainted with those places? The angel said to him, I will go with you. I am acquainted with the roadways, and I have lodged with our brother Gabael. Tobias said to him, Wait for me, and I will tell my father. He said to him, Do so, but do not delay. So he went to his father and said, Behold, I have found someone who will go with me. But his father said, Call him to me, that I may know what tribe he belongs to, and if he is trustworthy enough to go with you. So he invited him, and Raphael came in. They greeted one another cordially. Tobit then said to him, Brother, to what tribe and kindred do you belong? Raphael responded, Do you seek a tribe and a family, or a hired man to go with your son? Tobit replied, Brother, I wish to know your people and your name. Then he said, I am Azarias, the son of Ananias the Great, one of your relatives. So Tobit said to him, You are most welcome, my brother. Do not be angry with me for seeking to learn of your tribe and your family. As it turns out, you are a brother of mine from a good and upright family. For I knew Ananias and Jonathan, the sons of Shemaiah the Great, since we would journey in common to Jerusalem to worship and to offer the firstborn and the tenth of our harvest. They were not led astray in the deception of our brothers. My brother, you are from a good root. But tell me, what shall I give you as wages? A drachma a day and expenses for you and my son? I will even add more to your pay if you both return in good health. Thus they were well pleased. Then he said to Tobias, Prepare for the journey, and may it be prosperous. So his son prepared the things for the journey. Then his father said to him, Go with this man, and may the God who dwells in heaven prosper your journey. May his angel journey with you. They both departed, and the young man's dog went with them. But Anna, his mother, wept and said to Tobit, Why have you sent our son away? Or is he not the staff of our hands when he goes in and out before us? Do not attain silver upon silver, but may it be dirt compared to our son. For as he was given to us to live by the Lord, this is sufficient for our existence. Tobit said to her, My sister, do not be concerned. He shall return in good health, and your eyes will see him. For a good angel will go with him, and his journey shall be prosperous. He will return in good health. So she ceased weeping. Now there are a few things we can see here. First, the Archangel Gabriel, rather, the Archangel Raphael is here, but he is incognito. He is uh, appearing uh, as a human being and with the name of a human being, a relative, actually, of Tobit's. And this is important, actually, because the angel tests Tobit a little bit. He, he first comes and says, uh, I'm happy to go with your son uh, on this journey. And Tobit says, well, you know, who are you? What tribe and, uh, you, know, what, what, you know, what is your name? What is your father's name? What, what tribe are you from? And uh, Raphael first says, well, why do you care? You're just looking for a hired man to go. You know, who cares? Uh, you know, are you looking for a tribe and a family or are you looking for a hired man? But we see Tobit insist. He just says, I, I want to know your people and your name. So he answers. He says, I'm looking for a tribe and a people, not just a man to take wages. Um, so then, then uh, Raphael tells him, he gives him a, 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 a name that is not his own. 
um, and uh, and then Tobit is satisfied because he knows this family. He knows that they are also faithful, which is to say he's not sending his son with any old person. He's not giving his son over to the influence of of someone who is not faithful. He, he doesn't want his son to go and get money and yet come home corrupted uh, with, uh, with different values, different priorities. So he's being a good father, you know, even here. Um, he's not just interested in the money. Uh, and, and when his wife makes her criticism and says, why are you sending our son away uh, you know, like this? Who cares whether we have money so long as he is alive uh, and faithful? Uh, and, and Tobit responds with, with, with faith. He says, you know, God will take care of him. God will send an angel with him to protect him. We could say, we could go so far as to say that Tobit sees through what's going on and understands that Raphael is an angel, but I don't think this is true. Uh, I think he's just expressing his trust that God will take care of his son because he has been faithful himself. He's not just picking any old person off the street who will take money. He's made sure that you know who he's sending him with is faithful so that he's acting in obedience to God, acting in uh, you know, in faith, uh, in faithfulness to God, even as he goes to get this, uh, you know, these last 10 talents of silver. So uh, sometimes as parents and as Christians, we, we struggle with this, with the idea that we should limit who we spend our time with, uh, that we should be careful of the company that we keep. Uh, but even here, even as uh, Tobit is trying to make sure he sends for, uh, for the last inheritance he has to give to his son, he's being very particular. His first priority is that his son hears his good advice to be faithful to God, to be pious, to do almsgiving at all times, which we heard last week. His second priority is that if his son goes for the money, he goes with a man who is faithful. And then only at the end uh, is he concerned about, you know, his son actually getting the money uh, that he receives. So three priorities uh, that are flipped on their head. First, to be faithful. Second, to keep good company. And third, uh, well, third actually, to marry a faithful spouse. Uh, and then, and only then, uh, are we worried about, about the money. Uh, we should therefore consider how we approach our children, how we care for them, and make certain that we are focusing on the right priorities as well. This is not easy in these days. It was not easy in those days, though. And yet those who are faithful still are able to do what is right. So may God give us all strength and wisdom to follow him and be faithful now and always. Amen. I'll see you all for day two. Uh, which I will record here, so you'll still see me uh, in the same place. Uh, so yes, I am recording these in advance. So God bless you all. Bye-bye.